The purpose of this video is to get students connected to technology when they first start the school year at Lakewood City Schools. The first thing you'll want to do is sign on to the computer. Each scholar has an individual username and password. Your username is your first initial of your first name. So if my name was Bridget, my first initial would be B, and then you'll put a period and your last name. Then you'll have four numbers. These four numbers are the last four digits of your ID. Your password should be eight characters long. A great example of a password would be your name and then your birth year. You should try to include letters and numbers. Use something that you will remember and use this for all your passwords. Pause your video. Check off number one on your sheet. If you've gotten this far, you have successfully logged on. Number one is the only one you will check off. Two through six, your teacher will check them off. The next thing you'll want to do is set how your desktop looks. We want to go with the classic shell. So once you're signed on, click the shell at the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. Next, you'll click Programs. Then you'll click Classic Shell. Under Classic Shell, you'll choose Classic Start Menu Settings. Next, you'll click on the middle picture. Next, this box will pop up. You'll want to click Yes. Then click OK. Finally, click OK. You've now set your classic shell. You'll know that you did this successfully if when you go back and click on the shell in the bottom left hand corner of your screen, your name appears at the top. Now pause the video. It's your turn to successfully create the classic shell on your computer. Do exactly what the video asked. Once you get to the screen where you're checking to see if you've done it correctly, meaning you're clicking on the shell in the lower left hand corner and your name appears, stop and raise your hand. We are going to come around and check off number two on your sheet. The next thing we'll do is how to open a Word document. Once again, you'll click on the shell in the lower left hand corner of your screen. Next, you'll click on Programs. Then you'll click on Microsoft Office 2013. After you click on Microsoft Office 2013, you'll click on Word 2013. Next, select Blank Document. Click on it. This will pop up when you open Word. You're going to click in the circle to the left of Use Recommended Settings, and then click Accept in the bottom right-hand corner. Next, you'll want to click Yes. A blank document should open in your screen. Pause your video here. Now go and open a Word document. Once you get to this slide and you've got an open Word document, stop, raise your hand, and your teacher will come around and check off number three. Next, we're going to learn how to save to your network drive. Your network drive is a drive that only you can access. To get to your network drive, choose File, next choose Save As, and then click Browse. Next use the scroll bar that the green arrow is pointing to and click Computer to show your drives. 
Use this scroll bar to scroll up and down and find your name in the list of drives. Double click on your name. Next, you're going to want to name your document. Under File Name, this is where you write the name of the title of your document. You should always name your files the same. Start by typing your last name, a dash, and then the first initial of your first name. Then you'll type an underscore and the project name. For example, my project's name is Georges-A underscore all about me. To make a dash and an underscore, you're going to use the same key. Look at where the arrow is pointing on your screen. That's the dash. To make the underscore, hold the shift key down and hit the same key. Now you've made an underscore. Now let's see if you correctly saved it under your H drive. Go to the shell at the bottom left of the hand corner of your screen. Then click Computer. Next, double click your name. This is your H drive. Double click your file. Stop here. Raise your hand. Your teacher will be around to check off number four. Student has successfully saved a Word document to their H drive. This video explains how to set a secure print code in Windows 8. To print, first select File. Then click Print. Once you've selected the printer you'd like to print to, click on Printer Properties beneath it. Once you're in Printer Properties, click on the three dots next to Secure Print. Next, you'll want to enter your secure print code. All students should enter 1, 2, 3, 4, and then enter it a second time to confirm. This secure print code will save the next time you log into this computer. However, if you log into a different computer and you print for the first time, you'll have to reset it to 1, 2, 3, 4. Stop here. Raise your hand. Your teacher will be around to check number 5. Student has successfully printed. Now let's sign in to your school email. Go to the Lakewood City Schools website, www.lakewoodcityschools.org. You have to type the www. Then click the For Students tab. Next, click Email Login. This is the login screen for your email. This is your school email and cannot be used for anything other than school-related things. Your email address is your sa the same as your login for school. For example, it'll be the first initial of your first name, dot, your last name, and then the last four digits of your ID at lakewoodcityschools.org. Your password is the same password you use to sign in with to the computer.